Hi everyone, this is Joel again, and today we're looking at Scratch Junior and how to introduce Scratch Junior to the young kids. I did this with the six, seven, eight year olds. So this is Scratch Junior on the iPad. I'm gonna press the home button to get started and then the plus button here to start a new project. So we always start off with this cat here. Now I don't want the cat for my project, so I'm just gonna click and hold on him and then just press the X to take it away. And I'll press the plus on the left side to bring a new character in. And I'm gonna go down and I'm looking for the little baby. Here he is. And I'll press the tick button to bring him on and just put him into position, just move him on the stage. Now I'll press the plus button on the left again for another character. And this one, I want a little bunny rabbit. And there's the bunny rabbit here. I'll press the tick button to bring him on and put him on this side. And I'm not fussed that he's facing the wrong way because that will fix itself. Now up here on the top, this blue green icon will be my background. So I'll click on that. And the one that I want is the road that's up here on the top. So it's just a sort of funny thing of the baby and the bunny rabbit being on a road. Okay, so I wanna start with what the baby's doing. So I'm gonna tap the baby on the left to get him selected. You can see the baby on the bottom there. That's telling us that it's the baby script we're doing now. Start with the yellow blocks and start with the flag so that we know that when the flag is pressed, the script happens. I'm gonna to go to the blue blocks now and I want him to move and I want him to move about six to the right. So I just tap on the number there, change the number with the keypad and I'll press the flag at the top to test that. Okay, that looks good. Now I want him to go up as well. So I'll use the up arrow, bring that down and attach that to my script. And I'm gonna change that to maybe six as well. And we'll play that, make sure it's doing what I do. Good. And now I want him to go right um, maybe nine. See how that works. So this process of adding something, testing it, adding something, testing it, it's really important when you're teaching kids about coding and animation come to that. Okay, that worked really well. So now I want the down arrow. So here's the down arrow. Change that to six so it goes down to the ground. So what we're looking for is the baby crawls, he floats in the air, he flies, and he crashes onto the bunny. Now I want the bunny to react and to move when the baby does that. So now I'm gonna tap on the rabbit on the left to get the rabbit selected. I'm gonna to go to my yellow blocks and my flag to start him going and I want the bunny rabbit to move to the left, maybe 12. So get my blue blocks, get my left arrow, attach it, change it to 12. Now, this isn't gonna work the way it's supposed to, but I do this on purpose to show the kids. So I press the flag and I ask them, what's the problem? And I said, well, the problem is the bunny was moving before the baby got to it. So the bunny needs to wait. Now, lucky for us, there is a wait block. So if I go to the orange blocks, there's that little stopwatch there. It says 10 right now. So I'm gonna move that and I'm going to put it in between these two blocks there. So it's waiting. Now it's not 10 seconds, it's 10 scratch units. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Now it won't be enough. Let's have a look. No, he moves too quickly. So we need to just keep changing it and changing it. I actually think that 50 is a good number. So let's try that. And there he goes. He goes just as the baby gets there. So that's a bit of trial and error to make sure that the, the bunny is waiting long enough. Now, the last thing is I want the, ba the bunny to sort of make some sort of sound when the baby gets to it. So the green blocks are where the sounds are. I could make this pop sound, which I don't want. So I'm gonna click on the um, microphone and I'll press record and I'll just do this silly little sound. Here we go. Ah! press the tick button to save that and now drag that microphone in and I'm going to make that microphone between the orange and the blue block. All right, let's test that out. Okay, not ideal because it's a little bit short. So I'm going to change the time to 45 and try it one more time. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay, but that's pretty good. 
And really, that is all I taught the students on Scratch Junior. I said there are other blocks that we haven't covered, like these purple ones, for example, and uh, some of the other orange ones. So um, I encourage them to have a look and explore and play and see what you can come up with. And they really did deliver. They really came up with some fun animations. So that is my introduction to Scratch Junior on the iPad. My name's Joel, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening.